Salisbury is, is very busy when it comes to uh, music generally. Choral music, uh, the Farron Singers have got to be up at the top there. There's a real wide range of repertoire. Every concert has a different theme, and sometimes we'll be singing uh, Renaissance polyphony, and other times we'll sing more modern pieces. Quite often I look at even prestigious choirs, and what they've done is just slap down, I don't know, a Lady Miserere, a piece of bird, and you look at the, um, the programme, and maybe it hasn't really got a structure. So what I've tried to do is to do something which hangs together as an experience more than just a concert. They have a huge range and that's one of the things that many choirs don't. I mean they do anything from Renaissance right through to the most contemporary works which is good. It's part of the family almost, you know, you go, you go on tour together and you get to know each other very, very well. It's lovely. I mean, I love hearing singing anyway, so that's why I come every time. In 1958, he founded this choir, uh, thinking that really all the fun shouldn't be in the cathedral. We should, uh, he should, take a choir that goes around to all sorts of churches in the diocese. When I uh, became conductor in 2011, I didn't realise that I was going to be repeating his original idea for the choir, which was to put the accent on going round the diocese and doing extra concerts in addition to the four major ones that we do every year. And uh, this means taking music to places which maybe haven't heard a bird anthem ever in some cases. The first concert they did was singing down the river. We floated down in two boats from the Bishop's Palace down to the Rose and Crown. And I thought this was just wonderful. We sang madrigals and part songs. I think it's very stimulating because the standard is high. The standard has gone up hugely over all the very many years, which is, I think, 44 that I've been in the choir. <laughs> and it's very exciting to be part of that process. There is a very great commitment. Uh, I think everybody in the choir um, does their own homework um, between rehearsals and um, you know, it matters. And coupled with that musical ethos, there's a great sense of fellowship in, in the choir. Everybody enjoys each other as company. Uh, and we often, often go out for a choir meal at the end of a concert. Um, and those are the best occasions as well. I really wanted to find a really good chamber choir that I could sing in locally. We moved to the area about five years ago and I hadn't really got round to joining a choir. So I was really glad to get an audition and that they let me in. <laughs> Any old notes will do there, won't they? <laughs> OK, part by part, basses... I'm a bit too rude sometimes, I must admit. We do have a lot of fun, a lot of laughs. Oh! Basis, that was amazing. It doesn't matter if you make a mistake, you know, of course you mustn't make a mistake in a concert, or you will have to buy me a drink, but... 